Another day, and yet another cosmic dilemma produced by the James Webb Space Telescope. But this one's unlike any found until now. Long story short, cosmologists have found mature, ultramassive galaxies populating the early universe, and supporters of the standard model of cosmology are now finding themselves at crossroads. No one expected these massive structures because they should not be there. Period. These huge galaxies resembling the Milky Way are teeming with mature red stars, and Webb has successfully captured them in its deep field image. In addition that, spectral analysis of these galaxies indicates that they existed in the early universe only 400 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. But the galaxies themselves were not unexpected. Astronomers did anticipate the formation of the first star clusters shortly after the universe emerged from the Dark Ages, the initial 400 million years when space was filled only with a dense fog of hydrogen atoms. However, the galaxies observed in the web images appeared surprisingly large, with stars that were too old for their age, millions of years earlier in time. But according to our current model, not enough dark matter had built up in sufficient concentrations to seed their formation. In addition to that, the new findings are in conflict with earlier observations made by the Hubble Space Telescope. So what is going on? Let's find out. Right after the Big Bang, the universe wasn't entirely uniform. Small fluctuations in energy and matter density played a crucial role in shaping its future structure. Areas with higher density attracted more matter through gravity, leading to the formation of larger structures. For the ultramassive galaxies seen by JWST to grow so rapidly, there would have to be more of these high-density regions shortly after the Big Bang. This challenges the standard cosmological model like never before, because they shouldn't have evolved until much later in the universe's history. This has led to calls for a re-evaluation of the current model, but not so fast. A few scientists deem as it would overturn decades of science. The development of objects in the universe is hierarchical. You start small and get bigger and bigger, said Julian Munoz, assistant professor of astronomy at the University of Texas and co-author on a recent paper that tests changes to the cosmological model. JWS is observing galaxies that are comparable to our own, but very early. That's a challenge. Munoz and their team of astronomers at Johns Hopkins University believe that revising the standard cosmological model isn't quite necessary. However, to account for the overabundance of ultramassive galaxies, astronomers may have to revisit their understanding of how the first galaxies formed and evolved. That to me sounds a lot like revision, doesn't it? The Lambda Cold Dark Matter Model, or Standard Cosmological Model, is widely accepted in cosmology, but it has its limit. Add observational limitations to it, and much of the early universe remains theoretical. But now we have a powerful tool in web, and we can peer farther back in time than ever before. And that's what they did. But this time, they took Webb's data and compared it with that of Hubble's. They selected a cosmic time frame spanning from approximately 500 to 800 million years after the Big Bang, during which both JWST and Hubble observations were accessible. Within this time frame, they pinpointed the most massive galaxies in the JWST data and determined the minimum and maximum alterations to the early universe's density required for these galaxies to form. They also estimated the number of smaller galaxies that would rise as a consequence of this hypothetical alteration. The fluctuation that would make more ultramassive galaxies would, in theory, create more of the smaller ones too, said Minas. But that's not what we see. When reviewing the number of galaxies observed by Hubble in the same time range, it did not align with the team's calculations. We showed that you cannot change cosmology enough to explain this abundance problem, given that Hubble's observations would also be effective. And this brings us back to the question, why is JWST detecting numerous ultra-massive galaxies? One explanation 
could be the presence of supermassive black holes within them. These black holes might heat up nearby gas, enhancing the galaxy's brightness and thus giving the impression of greater mass. Another theory is that these galaxies may not be from the early universe at all, but rather appear so due to dust, causing their color to appear redder. As light travels through space, it stretches and becomes redder, leading to the galaxies appearing farther away than they actually are. But the thing is, with Webb, we are currently seeing galaxies dating back to at least 320 million years after the Big Bang. The cosmic Dark Ages period is believed to have lasted between 350,000 to 1 billion years after the Big Bang. As such, if these primordial galaxies had turned on by this point, the emission would have been smothered by the surrounding hydrogen gas and the light would never have made it out to us. But Webb can still see them. Also upcoming data later this year from the ongoing galaxy surveys by the telescope are expected to extend this record even further back, extracting galaxies from the depths of time. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is 13.6 billion years old, and yet it is not an ultra-massive galaxy. It will become one of the largest galaxies in the local group after having merged with the Andromeda galaxy in 4.5 billion years. This shows that galaxies take time to become ultra-massive, and yet somehow these galaxies found by Webb exist way back in time. Astronomers intend to soon reposition Webb's mirror toward these galaxies to capture their light spectra, which will help analyze their chemical and physical properties by breaking down the observed light into its wavelength composition. We looked into the very early universe for the first time and had no idea what we were going to find, said a scientist from Penn University. It turns out we found something so unexpected, it actually creates problems for science. It calls the whole picture of early galaxy formation into question. Could this mean that there is a possibility that the universe is older? Could this also mean that we have barely scratched the surface of an enigma that goes way deeper than we can comprehend? Results from Webb's ongoing galaxy surveys will soon lift the veil from the mystery and may push us into a new one. Who knows? Only time will tell, but one thing is for sure, our knowledge of the universe is definitely getting tested, and that is exactly how we improve science. What do you guys have to say? What are your thoughts about the existence of these massive structures at the edge of the universe? Do you think black holes could have powered these galaxies to grow massive very quickly, or there is more to the universe than meets the eye? Let me know by dropping in your comments below. That's all we have for you today. This is Cosmos Prodigy.